Guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another I Smoke video with me, Tyler Green. In the video today, I'm going to be showing you something that I've recently received in the post all the way from California. It is by a company called Lynx Vapor and it is something that I'm really excited both to try out and to share with you. This is a technology that I have not seen in production in the UK yet. If you have, do let me know, but this is my first time coming across this outside of YouTube, Instagram, that sort of thing. It is called a honey straw. Tell me what takes you higher. Really excited about this, gonna unwrap it now and show you guys what is in the box. It is called the Lynx Ares. I really like the branding, the sort of geometric patterns. There's a Lynx on here, which I guess is for, suggested from the name. And on the box, it's got a very premium feel, this product. So the writing itself is in shiny letters. On the side here, it says no loading, two temperatures, ceramic rod atomizer, and medical grade stainless steel. Don't use it if you are a child or a woman who is pregnant or breastfeeding. It is the unboxing. Excited about this, guys. So, inside we have one user manual for the Lynx Ares, and in here it talks about the battery, uh, what's inside it, charging, locking and unlocking, temperature setting, vaping, cleaning, safety, and a legal disclaimer. Caution atomizer gets hot during use, let cool down after three hits. That's really interesting. Lucky I read that. I'm gonna make sure that after I take three hits, I'll let it cool down. And let's carry on and see what else we've got in the box, guys. This is a concentrates pot. So this is what I'm gonna put my concentrate in before I then use the uh, honey straw to vape it. And look at this. So this is the honey straw itself. Let's take this out of the plastic packaging. Just looks like a pen, doesn't it? Ooh, one side comes off, two sides come off, and we have the device itself, guys. So, this looks really cool. Looks like a really good bit of kit. Looks like stainless steel, and it has a button on the front there. It's got the heating part here, which is the part that you would put into your concentrate. The way that you use this is to press this button while breathing in through the mouthpiece, like that. And what that will do is that will heat up this element as you touch it to your extract and enable you to get a nice dab from this without having to use a blowtorch, guys. So it's pretty much a portable e-nail just in the style of a nectar collector. That's why I've been so excited to get my hands on one of these. Just look at the portability of this. Let's pop that back on, pop that back on, and I've got a rather large pen. <laughs> Let's put it in a pencil case, put it in my travel bag. Um, yeah, looks wise. Looks like something you might find in space, which is really cool. Um, and feels like a really premium product. So it's, it's quite weighty, not incredibly heavy, obviously it's very thin, but it's got a nice weight to it, which tells me that it's not just made from plastic. Also in the box, I have a charger here for when it runs out of battery and a spare mouthpiece. So let's look at how to use the Lynx Ares Honey Straw. Press the power button five times quickly to turn the device on or off. Oh, it's lighting up. Press power button three times quickly to choose from low and high temperatures. So it's either 482 Celsius or 593. The light flashes once when low temperature is selected and twice when high temperature is selected. Once, wicked, that's what I want. Of course, the low temperature. Place the area's atomizer rod into concentrate. Inhale while holding the power button. Release the power button to stop the heating. If power button is held down for 15 seconds, the battery will enter standby mode to prevent overheating. Lovely, that's enough to get started, guys. It is time to try out the honey straw. I'm excited. So to try this out, I've got some lemon cherry pie extracted by TG Botanical Extracts. This is a uh, crumble, so it is the consistency of 
almost like cookie dough. Got a nice dab size amount of the lemon cherry pie. I'm gonna pop this into the pot here, ready for me to hit with an air res honey straw. It would have turned off, so five times to turn it on again. Here we go, guys. This is the first hit with the honey straw. Let's see how we get on. Okay. Mm. Wow, so it's a really clean hit, really smooth. I need to perfect how I'm doing it, that I might be doing it wrong, hang on. So this is on the low temperature setting. Here we go, guys. Mm. Oh wow, that is a really clean taste. <laughs> Initial thoughts using the Lynx Ares Honey Straw are that it's a really nice taste, guys. Um, that might be the nicest way that I've tried the taste of my extract in a while. Definitely tastes better than my email. It's making the taste of the extract really pop in my mouth, whereas some of the other ways that I've been dabbing, sometimes I get a bit of an aftertaste that I think suggests that I need to clean my rigs a little bit better. This is giving me uh, really good flavour. In terms of the actual hit itself, so I used it three times and now I've set it to cool down. As you can see, it has got most of the dab's worth of extract. It's still left a good layer, so I'm going to obviously dab the rest of that and put a little bit more in there as well. What I'm gonna do now is try it on the higher temperature setting and I will let you guys know the difference between the two. I wanna see what it's like with a big strong hit and uh, really get a nice lung full off of it. So I'll let it cool down like it advised in the instruction manual. And then I'm gonna heat it up again. I'm gonna put some more of the lemon cherry pie in here. Linksvapor.com, that's where I got the Ares honey straw. Let's hit it back up. Nice, so what I've done now is I've pressed the button three times and I have put it in uh, high temperature mode, effectively. See you on the other side. So I'm getting a lovely taste. It's just not letting me get all of the extract from the bottom of that dish. And the clouds are very spread out. So I'm not able to get an intense sort of hit in, what I, in the way that I usually dab. So I've got a little boulder of the Majors Mix Kush. And I'm gonna hit that straight off of the silicon mat. And I'll let you guys know how it's tasting. Cheers. There we go. That is what I was looking for, guys. That cloudy, 
dab. Mmm. Wow, that's tasty. I'm gonna have to stop using this now because it said to only use it three times before you turn it off, but it got really, really nice, <laughs> so I just kept going. I think it's better dabbing straight off of the silicon mat that I've got than dabbing from this concentrates dish. I think it's hard to get the angle that I needed to hoover it up. Makes it sound bad, doesn't it? Hoover it up isn't the right terminology to consume the extract through the honey straw. It's a great device, guys, and I'm gonna be getting myself a little silicon mat that I can take everywhere. The only slight down votes that I can find come from the fact that I can only sort of use it a few times before I need to reheat it, but in practical situations, that should be fine when are you doing more than three dabs in a row? It's only got two temperature settings, so it could be a little bit more customizable, but in the grand scheme of things, the, the temperature settings are nice. The flavor is fantastic. Um, I don't know the RRP value for this, I'm sorry guys, but if I can find it between here and editing, I will put it here now. I rate this product, guys. Would I buy one? Yes, I would. Especially because I could just sort of put the cap on, take it home, and it is good to go, guys. So it's cooled down by right now, right? <laughs> tasty, 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 tasty. Brilliant, glad that I could share that with you guys today. Have you seen the e-nectar collectors or the honey straws? What do you think of them? Let me know in the comments. If you want to get yourself a honey straw, head over to linksvapor.com where they sell them. It has been an absolute pleasure, guys. As always, thank you for joining me. I'm just sad that I can't just keep using this constantly. <laughs> That has been an I Smoke review of the Lynx Vapor Aries Honey Straw. What do you think of it, guys? Let me know in the comments and I will be back with another video soon. Keep talking.